Hi y'all, it's Cameron, Blushing Foreigner. Hope everyone is doing well. I have to forewarn you, I cannot form a sentence to save my life right now. I was just trying to speak at work and it wasn't coming out. Nothing was coming out correctly. See, I just did it. So I'm gonna try and talk today about hair products. You're going to see the very tired side of me who's not articulate right now. So I'm sorry, I'll leave it at that. Okay, I was tagged several months ago by Very L14, I believe that's her name, Alexandra, lovely French girl. She makes videos here and I'll link her below. She did a what's in my shower tag and she tagged me and I thought that was nice, but I was deathly afraid of showing y'all what's in my shower or particularly showing you my shower because I live in a small Copenhagen apartment it's not that small, but the bathroom situation is a total disaster. You don't even want to know where my shower cabin is located, but I'll just tell you, it's not in the bathroom. Where my toilet is and my shower, two different places. So, I mean, I can't like drag you guys in there and be like, hey, here's my bathroom. That would be bad. So what I did was I emptied my shower and I'm showing you some of my products that I use on my hair. The reason why I'm doing this is another subscriber named Elizabeth Powdered Peach, who is such a lovely person. She doesn't make videos yet, but she's going to. She sort of promised me, so I'm really excited for that. She's a makeup artist and a skincare expert. And she asked me, what do you use on your hair? For some reason, she thinks I'm like worthy of mentioning or talking about hair products. And in truth, I'm not. This is like the blind leading the blind. I know diddly squat about hair health and how to have great looking hair because I have really bad hair. I have damaged hair, it's getting too long, it won't grow past a certain length, it's getting weaker, more brittle, it's starting to fall out. It's not falling out heavily but my hair is so much thinner than it used to be five years ago. Maybe it comes with hitting 30. It's such a bummer but anyways. My hair is not in great shape, but I do certain things. I have little tricks, certain products that I think are helping it perform and look a little bit better than it actually is. Shampoo and conditioner. Those are two things where you're not gonna see drastic results. No matter what you use, I think it's just about getting the job done. And I know a lot of people agree. That's not where you're gonna find like the miracle that makes your straight hair curly or your curly hair less frizzy. I have very frizzy hair and I have dry hair. So I buy shampoo and conditioners that are aimed at dry, unruly hair. But what I'm gonna share with you are some things that I'm happy with for the most part. Things that I think are okay. I'll, I'll tell you if I love it, I'll tell you if I don't love it. I'm actually gonna show you things I love and then my whole arsenal of products that I think suck. So I'm just gonna be totally blunt. I'll tell you about some things where I had high hopes, where I thought maybe this thing is working and then it didn't. I have about 15 of these products behind me and this is the Ever Strong line. I also have the Ever Pure. Ever Pure is really good. It's the moisture shampoo and then I have the Ever Sleek. I buy these products because they're unoffensive in the way they work with my hair and they smell really good. This is probably the only shampoo where I've received compliments and someone stopped me and said, your hair smells really good. And I was like, oh, thank you. I'll keep buying that forever. So this is good stuff. Again, I like their hydrating formula, the reconstructing one's fine. I have like four different shampoo and four different conditioner bottles that I rotate around in my shower. I don't shampoo my hair very much and you all are probably aware of that. You can probably tell. I shampoo, I say every three days, maybe four days. Four is more honest actually. And when I told a woman in India who was doing my hair, I was there for work and I needed a haircut, hair treatment, and the woman gasped when I said I only washed my hair like once or twice a week. She was like, your hair is dirty. I don't think my hair is dirty. I think my hair is freaking dry. And if I wash my hair more than that, it'll look bad. So I really try and get as much mileage as I can out of my hair in between washes. So I washed it last night. Today I did use a flat iron on it. I only try and do that about once a week. I have a GHD flat iron. I'll get to the flat iron treatments and the products I use to protect my hair, but I am a huge proponent of hair protection. <laughs> I sound like a condom PSA. <laughs> protection. 
always use protection. <laughs> I believe in protecting the hair and <laughs> other parts of your body. <laughs> Anyways, forget that. Um, this is gonna be the most disjointed video you've ever seen from me. I started really focused, like boom, 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 and now this is where we take a left turn and go crazy. Anyways, shampoo, conditioner, I like the L'Oreal products. I have one high-end shampoo, and it's by Purology, and I enjoy this one. It's the Anti-Fade Complex. It's for super straight hair, or if you desire super straight hair. It doesn't give you straight hair. It's not gonna do anything magical to your locks, but it's a nice shampoo. It is sulfate free. That's one of those buzzwords, sulfate free. I'm not sure if it means anything or not. I know what it means. I know it's supposed to be less damaging. Perhaps achieves less of a foam, but it won't strip your hair. It won't strip the cuticle of all the natural oils. Apparently sulfates are blamed for doing that. I think it's just a marketing gimmick, personally. But here I have a whole shower full of sulfate-free everything, so I've bought into the hype. Purology is a good line. It's all natural, and I think they have some good ingredients in their products. So for good shampoo and conditioner, if you're interested in spending more money, I like the Purology line quite a bit. So a product that I've had for a long time, off and on, I keep returning to it, is Bedhead. This is like the most phallic-looking product you will ever see. Am I allowed to say that? Okay, I'm sorry you guys. Sorry. This is called After Party, I believe. It's all rubbed off. I think this is just a nice cream. It sort of adds some softness to my hair. I use it on damp hair before I blow dry. I really like this. I've had maybe three or four bottles of this in my life. It's good on the hair. <laughs> a high-end conditioner that I use on occasion, maybe once a week, is this one by, no. Sorry guys, that's the wrong product. It's this one. This is Kerastase, the Kerastase Resistance line. Resistance. This product is for reinforcing and refinishing treatment for damaged lengths and ends. So you use this like a mask and it's nice. I have three products from the Kerastase line. I really like Kerastase. It's owned by L'Oreal. It's their very high-end salon treatment products and I've used them on and off for probably 10 years. I started with the orange line. I just know the colors. Everything's in French when it comes to this line, so I don't know what the products really are. I just know by what they look like when I see it on the shelf. But anyways, I use this mask. It's good, it's hydrating. I'm really working on repairing my hair because I have a lot of damage right now. So I'm working on repairing. This is a good product. Before I blow dry, I use Kerastase Resistance Cement Thermique, and this is a heat-activated reconstructing milk. This is for brittle, damaged hair, so this will protect my hair before the blow-dry. I've been using this for eight weeks, perhaps, and I do like it. I don't, I don't see any new damage cropping up, so that's good. I can't say my hair is repaired and it's looking brilliant. But I think this line is doing some good on my hair. The last thing from the Kerastase line that I'm enjoying is the Fiber Architects. Again, I've been using this six to eight weeks. What this is is a, a very concentrated serum. It's one of those two-tone where you have like a white color and then a clear color. It comes out in like a pump. Like this. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm very skeptical as for whether or not it works. My hairdresser, who's a smart lady, and I trust her, she said that this puppy can heal hair and that it seals off damaged split ends and when you apply your heat iron or flat iron to it, the heat will seal the cuticle and you have a healthy hair strand again. That sounds too good to be true. I don't believe it's true. But, again, I don't see new damage appearing in my hair. We're going to get keep giving this a shot. That's the philosophy behind this. I bought into it. She explained it, and I was like, wow, what a miracle product. So, Fiber Architect by Kara Stoss. We're going to see for sure whether it can do that and, like, heal my damaged hair. 
I also use, and I love this product, of all the things I've, I'm going to show you, everything I've said so far is good. This is great. Tresemme Heat Protectant. This is the Heat Tamer Spray. I've used a lot of heat protectants in my life and I think this one is one of the best. What I like about it is it won't interfere with where my hair is going. It doesn't make it dry. It doesn't change the texture of my hair. I don't know if it adds any softness, but it doesn't interrupt whatever my hair has going on. Does that make sense? It doesn't add or subtract anything. It doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't add shine, but it's just, it's nice. And I really feel like when I use this and I kind of coat the hair, my flat iron is doing a lot less damage with this product. Hairspray, I really enjoy Elnet Hairspray. This is a cult classic in Europe. I don't know if it's in the US, it might be. It's just great, it works. Sometimes I do curly hair, I do what I call pageant hair, and I'll use rollers and go full on whew, big hair. And now it never gets that big, but I set my curls with this product and it's a good hairspray. Okay, I'm not sure if I should show you guys the doozy products. I have a bag here of products that suck, in my opinion. Maybe they're great, I have no idea. This is my stupid ass opinion. This is from the Ever Pure line, the L'Oreal, and it's called Ever Strong Overnight Hair Repair Treatment. It did nothing for my hair. It wasn't bad, but it certainly didn't make my hair any softer or more moisturized. I think that was the goal with this one. It was sort of a fail. Okay. When you get a Brazilian blowout, they're gonna talk you into buying their shampoo and conditioner. I bought it. I don't think it's necessary. It's not a great shampoo or conditioner in any way. I think you can go with one of the L'Oreal sulfate-free shampoos if you're looking for a good gentle shampoo and conditioner after you've had a hair treatment. Living Proof. Remember the big buzz about this one a few years ago? I bought a big bottle of that stuff. It's the straight making. It's called Frizz Styling Treatment, and the brand name or the sender of this is Living Proof. And this thing did nothing to my hair. I actually gave it a good go. I, I used it for a couple months, and then it started to make my hair dry and brittle and kind of weird. So it came in with a bang, huge flourish around this product, and then I have a huge bottle here that I won't be using. So that's a dud. It's a bummer. This product is gonna attract some controversy. This is the M Moroccan oil. I love how they have it in Arabic here. Like, oh, it's from Morocco. Oh, I can tell, how cute. It's so silly. I don't believe that this is even from Morocco. Well, maybe it is. It really is in Arabic everywhere. This has the wrong lid on it. I had to swap it out with the different products. It's fine. This product is not a bad product. It's not a great product. It's in between, so I'm not sure if it belongs in the bag of doozies. But this product is really easy to overuse. So if you use more than a minuscule amount, your hair will look super greasy. And if you're like me and you're not shampooing your hair very much, this product can be a real problem. So I think it's nice. When I've used just the right amount, I've noticed, oh, my ends look good. They, they look moisturized and less dry. So this product can be good. I think you can probably get the same effect with other argan oil products. So for now, I'm not sure I'm gonna ever repurchase this one, but it is you know talked about. That's just my opinion of it. I have a couple Redken products. Smooth Down Detangling Cream did nothing for me. Smooth Down Heat Glide didn't like this one either. It's for protective, smoother for very dry and ruly hair. I don't think it did anything to improve the condition of my frizziness. So these two underperformed. I'm a big fan of Shea Butter and I have this product by Rene Frater. I went through the whole bottle of this and it's for dry and rebellious hair. It's their Karate Shea Butter Serum. It's totally empty. I really liked this. I went on a Rene Frater kick after Berlin Hair Baby talked about their products. They have some really nice products. It's a little expensive. It's a French brand, 
but I do notice a difference with these so I may buy some more of these for tear products. So on my Shea Butter Kick I was enjoying this and then I bought this Fakai mask. This is my Frederick Fakai Shea Butter Damage Protecting Hair Mask. I keep it in the shower and I use it like a leave-in condition, not a leave-in condition, I use it like a mask or a conditioner. The problem with this is I probably don't use it correctly. Now that I'm reading the instructions, I use it like leaving it on for three or four minutes. You're supposed to leave it on like for 10 to 20 minutes. When you put it on, I'm expecting the sensation of a conditioner, so it should be smoothing my hair and kind of making it easy for me to run my fingers through. And this doesn't do that. It's almost sticky. It's like it doesn't work with your hands or your hair. So I wasn't super happy with this treatment. Probably because I'm using it like a conditioner in the shower and maybe it's something you use after a conditioner in the shower. So I'm not really sure. It's called a conditioning mask. Yeah. I don't think it's great. It's average. Last two products to dis. This is a dry shampoo by Bumble and Bumble. It's the blondish hair powder. This stuff will really leave your hair kind of dusty and kind of sticky and weird feeling. When you use it in between washes after day two, by day three of not shampooing, I have some, some oily hair. Not super oily, but maybe not looking so pretty. So I've tried using this. So this hair powder, while it does the job and it will dry up some of the oil, I don't love the way it feels in my hair. I, instead of this, I really like this Oscar Blandy actually. This is the Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I think this is a better bet. I bought this one at Sephora and you can buy it in a smaller size and see if you like it. My scarf keeps opening. Sorry you guys. I'm a total mess today. So I think Oscar Blandy is a better dry shampoo than the Bumble and Bumble. What I do is first day I may flat iron my hair. By day two, I just let it. I wake up and it looks like this, more or less. It may have some kinks. I don't worry about that. By day three, I try and use my chubby rollers, the fat rollers. I have six of those. I put it in and I try and get a little bounce back in my hair. That's by day two or three I may try that attempt. The next day, are we going on day four? No, by day four I'm washing. I braid it as a final step before shampooing. So I'll wake up in the morning and I do a little around the head braid, all my hair back. It kind of is a really nice trick for getting my bangs out of my face. I'm in the process of growing out my bangs. So that's how I stave off shampoo day. Just little tricks like, oh, I'll try and wear it up in a ponytail today. No one can tell my hair is dirty. Of course, everyone can tell, but that's what I do. If you have any better tricks, I would love to hear it. People, if you have stuck with me, you are a real friend, and I thank you. I have products everywhere. This is so bad. Bye. See you next time.